Greetings to you and blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. God bless you, people of God. Thank you for sharing a few minutes out of your day with me today. You have a pulse and you have a purpose. I, I'm beginning a series called Identity. And so this is the first of the five. And, and my question to you is, do you know who you are in Christ? Do you know your entitlements? Are you aware of your obligations? If you have not received Jesus Christ into your heart as Lord and Savior, then the time is now for you to receive him because these promises are reserved those who have accepted and received Jesus Christ as Lord. There is so much identity confusion in this world today, but one thing a Christian should never be confused about, and that's who they are in Jesus Christ. You are somebody in him. You have authority in him. John 1, 11 and 12 says, he came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. If you receive him as Lord, if you believe on his name, then you have power as a son, you have power as a child of God. We are his and he is ours. We belong to him. We are his property. We are the family of God. We are the children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. We have an inheritance in him. And it's important that you know who you are in him and what you are entitled to. The devil already knows but he doesn't want you to know. Now, what if you were living in poverty and barely making it and you had a million dollar inheritance that you knew nothing about? The authorities are waiting for you to come and claim it, but you didn't bother to read the will. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the same holds true for the heirs of the promise of Abraham. You are an heir and a joint heir with Christ. You can't be denied. Your identity is established in Jesus Christ. You know I have been left out of a lot of stuff. My name has been left out of a lot of stuff. But I can't be denied. This is the promises that he made to me. I'm an heir of the promise. You are an heir of the promise. You are included. You cannot be excluded. You cannot be denied. The promises of God belong to you. You're an heir and a joint heir with Christ. The same promises that were for Jesus are for you. Amen. All of the promises made to Abraham, you are his seed. And so you are an heir of his promise. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. You have rights and you have an inheritance. You are an heir and this is your identity in Christ.